We're at the equivalent of almost 20,000 feet when I'm wearing the mask. So I was at 145 heart rate and 71 oxygen saturation. And that stimulation of the body's systems will cause it to build more red blood cells, which are gonna let us survive and climb at altitude. We're forcing our bodies to work harder and breathe in less oxygen, and therefore compensate for it by building red blood cells and acclimatizing to higher altitudes. This fall, my goal, along with my partner Emily Harrington, is to climb the sixth tallest mountain in the world in less than two weeks. An 8,000 meter peak, one of the tallest peaks in the world, has never, to our knowledge, been climbed in less than a month. This is our house. These are crampons. This is my down suit. We'll actually be able to post to Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat while we're on the mountain. We need three different permits and visas. And we might leave as soon as, like, tomorrow. Enter before December 12th, 2016. And guess what? Mine says the same thing. We think it's going to take us 72 hours to get from here to the end of the road. We hiked the ABC that day. We got to 18 and a half thousand feet within 72 hours of leaving here. So I have it set today at 9.0, which is about 17.5. It's sucking oxygen out of the ambient air, replacing it with nitrogen, which is uh, inert for us as humans. And so we can mimic how much oxygen we get in each breath at high altitudes while still here at home. My stats are going down, my heart rate's going up. You want to be somewhere in the high 70s to mid 80s. If you're in like the high 80s and 90s, then you're probably not high enough, so you're not acclimatizing all that well. But if you're in the low 70s or 60s, then you're working too hard while you're sleeping. You're not really getting adequate recovery. You're in hypoxia when you go to sleep, therefore you don't rest, you don't recover, you don't enter deep sleep. You guys are super fine-tuned athletes, and you know this balance of sleeping too high, your need of recovery, and, and if you've kind of gone too far. You can do this extreme trial that you're going to do safely, and it's not something that people should try at home. They'll die. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to make sure that you're monitoring yourself 24 hours a day. Heart rate variability is a big piece of data that you guys are tracking. And the trick for us is just finding the balance between like acclimatizing and forcing our bodies to make changes at altitude and feeling rested and, and able to train during the day. A whole bunch of snow coming. That's the cyclone just sort of like crushing the mountain. The climbers who are currently on the mountain are not going to be able to fix ropes to the summit. So that could potentially delay our summit attempt. Show you is considered the easiest of the 14 8,000 meter peaks. We're going to be able to make a really big hard push and take our bodies really far with confidence that we can get back off the mountain safely. How long have you been flying for? 13 hours. How's that treating you? I just woke up. Just leave me alone. left Tahoe yesterday. We're going to base camp tomorrow. It's really simple down here. This is officially the road end. But we're picking up some yaks. Rest day tomorrow? Great. Why? Because we're going to be really high. Yeah, we are going to be really high. <laughs> days left to try to get on top of this thing and get home. I just want to go up there, sleep, wake up in the morning, go to camp two, then wait until midnight, and then go to the summit and then ski all the way down and then be done. Pack number one, pack number two. I predict this is the last dancing action you'll see from Emily Harrington for the next 72 hours. You want to bet? Amazing Glacier Penitentes. Yeah. Officially at the top of what we've acclimatized to. The first year suffering. How was it, Em? Hard. How you doing, Em? It's better in some ways than it usually is. 
been worse in some ways than it usually is. Tomorrow night, make the big push. Direct from Camp 2, skip Camp 3, and then maybe some oxygen in our future tomorrow night. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I feel like shit. Less than 24 hours from now, we should be on the summit. Really doing it. Zam coming up the fixed lines over the ice cliff. Definitely reached well beyond our acclimatization level. Now it's just pain cave style. You in your happy place. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there. Coming up through the yellow band. Everything's awesome. It's just really hot out. The best complaint you could ever have. So close now. On the plateau at almost 27,000 feet. Final 50 steps to the summit. Love you guys! I love the world! <sighs> Snapchatting on top of the sixth tallest mountain in the world. That's Everest and Lhotse and Nupse. You can buy plane tickets, fly to Tibet, and summit an 8,000 meter peak in nine days. Jump turns at 26,000 feet. Fuck yeah! snowing on us. M just took a pretty solid slide. A few thousand feet of scree and glacier to go. I only drank half a liter of water in the past, I don't know, 17 hours. There's a lot of weird things happening in my body. How much? Seven. Yeah, Shivering seven, not seventy. Seven. It's blizzarding out. I just started coughing and all those chunks came out. It was super gross and weird. Can we do it? I think we did it. Good morning. We're going down. Cho Yu. So fast. She got to today. I feel real good. <laughs> Tuche, Tuche. Ready to go, she got to. I can't quite believe it. Two weeks, 8,000 meter peak. Climbing and skiing. It means that we went to the top of the mountain. Look at that stamp, it's so official. So we went to Camp One. We weren't as acclimatized to that altitude. And our first night there was when you really went way down into the pain cave. Yeah. And look at what it did for me. I went up to 93% recovery, 100% sleep. And my heart rate variability jumped to like 89. You go out, you get crushed in a short period of time, and then you get to come home. Knowing my data, knowing how hard I should push up high, I think is gonna make me stronger, healthier, safer, and hopefully quicker. I wanna take the same systems and technology and what we learned and go climb Everest without supplemental oxygen.